take a look at uh, something in Rust called mutability. And mutability is spelled like this. And that means ability to change. So when something, uh, when you can change a variable, it's called mutable. And if you can't, then it's called uh, immutable. And uh, this example shows it. We, uh, so we're making something called my number, and then we're going to print it out. And then we're going to say my number equals 10. It was eight, now it's 10. And, uh, you know, try to print that out too. But you can see uh, the error down here, it says, cannot assign twice to immutable variable my number. So uh, my number is a variable that cannot change. And uh, it gives us a hint. It says, uh, how about making it mutable by using this keyword? And so that's the way Rust works. Uh, variables are immutable by default. And if you want to change them, you put this little mute keyword in front of it. And then uh, now it becomes a variable that can be changed. Now you can see it starts out as eight. We print that, then we change it to 10 and everything works fine. Uh, one other thing to note is that you cannot change the type. So mutable doesn't mean you can do anything because uh, Rust likes to be correct about things like that. So you can't say, now I am a string. So it is going to complain about this. And you can see there's that, uh, that error message that we're used to now. Expected something found something. And so there's, there's no way to, uh, to change that. Uh, by the way, this is uh, the way you write a string in Rust, and we're going to look at uh, what this means later on. This is uh, one of the most interesting parts of Rust. Uh, however, you can do this. Let my number, and this is actually creating a whole new variable with the same name, and it is going to block this one and then it actually will work. Um, this is called shadowing. And shadowing is um, it's a longer subject, so the next video is going to be all about shadowing. <clears throat> but just, uh, just a note for now that uh, when you use let, again, you are not, uh, it has nothing to do with mutability. You're creating something totally new. And the only thing that makes it look like it's mutable is that the name is the same, but it's not the same variable at all. So uh, let's go back to, uh, to making this a number again, <clears throat> because that's the way mutability works. You give it a type and then you can change it, but you have to keep the same type. 